Welcome to Bible Logos. I'm Tiandra Scrouded, your broadcast host. Today I'm excited to bring you part four of Your Ties, Your Test, Your Tree. Please do me a favor, like and share this message on social media with your friends and family. All right, let's get to the word. Here's part four of Your Ties, Your Test, Your Tree. And so there's a temptation to justify the lack of faith and the sin of disobedience to God. And see, we don't realize it's sin. Do you realize anything that disobeys God is sin? Let me just say that again. Any disobedience to God is sin. See, we're so holy. We can look down somebody else and say, well, see, because they're involved in adultery, that's sin. And we can, be, we can condemn them. They're in adultery, and that's sin. And I'm not a tithe, but well, that's sin. That's why I don't think any of us can afford to condemn anybody. All we can do is thank God for his grace. Thank God for his mercy. Thank him that I should be consumed. I should have been snuffed out. He should have wiped me out a long time ago. Hallelujah. But because of his mercy and because of his grace, I'm still here today. None of us are in a position where we can look down our nose or point our fingers at anybody else. So with respect to the tree, there's a, tempt a, a temptation to justify the disobedience, and there's a temptation to justify the lack of faith. With respect to the tree, look what, the, what happened. The devil started speaking to Eve, and she began to reason, process information. Did God really mean that when he said, did he really mean that? The devil spoke to her and said, you ain't going to surely die. God just knows that, you know, when you eat of that tree, you're going to end up being more like him. And she thought about that, and they started processing that, thinking, well, you know what? God did promise me that he was going to make me more like him. Matter of fact, that's what his word says. He says that he's created me in his image and after his likeness. So right there, I'm, oh, I'm supposed to be more like him. So he won't mind. If I disobey him because I'm just helping him to do what he said and his word he was going to do anyhow. We can justify. We can justify. And that's what we do with the tithe. With the tithe, we say, did God really mean that? You won't surely be cursed. God knows that if you have bills and, if it's God's and that it is God's will for to meet your needs and for all of your needs to be met. So he won't mind if you take the tithe, which he said is holy and that we are not to touch and that we will be cursed with the curse. He won't mind if we do all of that and take it and use it to pay some bills off. Same thing. And, and after all, since God promised to, to meet all my needs, this, I'm just helping him out. <laughs> it's not helping him out. It's a lack of faith. It's disobedience. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. God wants us to trust his word to know that, God, I'm bringing this to you as big of a sacrifice as it is. I'm trusting your word. I'm trusting you as the God who is my source. I'm trusting you to meet my need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I'm trusting you with it. Just like Abraham. Abraham had to trust God when he said, take, I, take your son Isaac, your only son, and sacrifice him for me. What? That takes trust. Yes. And when you are struggling to pay your bills, it takes trust. Yes. But I'm a living witness that you're going to continue to struggle to pay your bills. And you're going to continue to see the money that you make running through your hands until you trust him. And when you turn around and trust him, you ain't going to know how that thing got paid. Folk, they're going to be calling you up talking about they canceling the bill. You're going to look at this. Somehow or another, they're going to call you and say there was a county error. And even though last week it said you owed this yes. much, today we went over the, the, the books and it looked like you don't owe anything. Oh, I'm going to wipe out the debt, wipe out the, the, the past. God will cause, heal your body. Medical bills that you would ordinarily have to pay. God will make it so you don't even have to pay those medical bills. God has created ways of blessing his people.
talking about parallelism. And then there are, there are consequences for disobedience. There are consequences for disobedience. Scripture says we're cursed with a curse. Cursed with a curse. It's one thing to be cursed. But when you're cursed with a curse, I ain't found nowhere else. Excuse my bad English. I got the teacher looking at me. I have found nowhere else in the scripture where it talks about being cursed with a curse. I've seen the scriptures where it says cursed, but this one is cursed with a curse. That's some type of rolling over effect. That's just like, you know, if somebody stumbles and falls, it's one thing to stumble and fall, but it's another thing. You ever see anybody stumble and fall and then they start, they went into a rolling motion? And they keep, and they keep rolling. Huh? He says, cursed with the curse. Well, let's look at how this worked out with the tree, with respect to the tree. Remember what God said to the woman? Great, God will greatly, I will greatly multiply your sorrow in conception. In pain, you will bring forth children. Your desire or your stretching shall be for your husband. All that's a result of the curse, submission. Some of y'all looking at that husband now. <laughs> Submit to what? <laughs> I'm going to put an intentional say law right in here. This is a say law moment. <laughs> curse with a curse. Look what he said. You're going to conceive children in pain. Those nine struggling months, that wasn't God's original intention for you. Those morning sicknesses and all that, all that throwing up and all those mood swings, that was not God's will for you, Jasmine. The pain in, in giving birth that was not God's original intent for you. You notice when your puppy, when your dog gives birth, they don't have to go through all of that. Did you notice that? Your animals, they give birth, they just give the birth. They don't have to go through all that stuff. That was not God's will for his people. It's the result of the curse. Welcome back. You don't want to miss the conclusion tomorrow. The message your ties, your test, your tree. Please don't forget to like and share this message with your family and friends. I'm Tiandras Rowden, and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word, and therefore it is the same measure that you meet that it shall be measured to you again.